All right, our next guest has faced uh, some of the toughest obstacles life can throw. In the space of five years, Kath Koshal broke her back twice, mm. told she was never going to walk again, and then lost the love of her life. But the former elite cricketer never let these setbacks get the better of her, thanks to the kindness of others, which inspired a movement. And Kath joins us now. Where is she? Hello. Come, on, Come in. on in. Thanks for having me. Nice How are you? I mean, because your story, it, it is next level inspiring, what you've done. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm well. Um, I'm yeah. loving being here. I'm loving being part of this. So doing really, really well. We, I spoke to, to Gus um, during, the, during the course of the last week, um, during Gotcha for Life, um, this mateship mobs um, campaign, and he, and he just he couldn't believe your strength um, to go through what you did. Um, would you mind just telling us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, as you mentioned, sort of have broken my back on two separate occasions, had a very lengthy rehab period, and, and also lost my partner to suicide amongst that. So. Um, more than tough, really, really hard. Yeah. But in saying that, I guess, as you alluded to as well, the kindness of others really stood out to me. So, for example, when I was in a wheelchair and couldn't reach um, the lift button and a random stranger walked past and they could see that struggle and they pressed that button for me, and it meant nothing to their day but, but everything to mine. It, isn't that such a small thing? And the fact that you remember it and you're accounting that right now uh, says everything. A hundred percent. And I think that just then inspired me to be able to, when I was well enough physically, emotionally, and all those sorts of things, to be able to then inspire a movement of kindness as well. So. What do you mean by movement of kindness? So I'm the founder of Kindness Factory um, and we've logged, or the, collectively the world has logged 3.8 million acts of kindness on our website, which has been phenomenal. Um, but I guess what I'm here to talk about today is Gotcha for Life and mateship yeah. and things like that. Um, I wouldn't be here today without my mates. Um, I've been through some really horrible things in life, um, but I now remain a really positive person through friendships like Gussie's and things like that as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm a huge advocate for Gotcha for Life. I absolutely love their work. I love Gussie to bits. Yeah. Um, and I genuinely believe that a lot of the people that I've lost in my life to suicide would still be here with friendships like what Gotcha for Life is starting to create amongst communities. Mm -hmm. So um, just love it. Yeah. And look, and, and what you've done, like, I mean, you've shared the stage with the Dalai Lama. You've spoken <laughs> in front of the Obamas um, and Michelle came up and, and and specifically to, to say how much she loves the work that you're doing. But when you go to, the, to that message and that, that idea of looking after your mates, um, what, is it, what is it that you say and what is it that's so important about that? I think when you're as low as I've been or when you're going through as tough of things as I've been through, um, finding people in your life that can have your back when you can't seem to have it yourself or you don't have that belief in yourself to overcome mm. those things is, is vitally important. Um, my best mate Erin um, has always been there for me and when I've had those moments in my life, she's always shown up for me and she's my gotcha for life mm. mate and mm. I think that message is so powerful. It could be a family member, it can be a friend, it mm. can be whoever, whoever, sometimes it's a stranger that you need to lean on but just having people's back is so important. You don't know what's going on in any one's life really uh, unless um, you're, you're as close as you can be to that person and even then sometimes you don't know right so families around uh, walking around with kids um, you know whoever you see on, on any given street how do you what information do you give them what's the most important thing do you know what? Sometimes it's not even words. Sometimes it's it's literally smiling at a person. If you look at a person and see they might be struggling, or even if they're not, I think just smiling at them and knowing that you know there's hope in the world mm -hmm. is is also important as well. Um, if a person did approach me or someone else, I think the uh, listening is also the best thing yeah. that you can yeah. do in those moments. You don't always have to have the answers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just need to offer that person a, a safe platform to be able to exist the way that they are. So you're a legend. <laughs> uh, we love you. It's it's a real privilege and honour to meet you. And, Thank you very and much. You been through and, and how you've navigated through the other side is, is, is incredibly inspiring. Good on you. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, guys. And Thank the you kindness so much. factory. Check it out. It's yeah, worth it's it. terrific. Well